Here we go, making pasta. Making pasta is super simple, really fast, really easy, and it just requires very few ingredients. We are gonna use one cup of some good Italian double zero flour. Dump it on the counter. Now we're gonna get our semolina flour, and we need a cup of that. We're gonna dump that on top. Let's mix it up. So now that it's fairly mixed, we're just gonna pile it up, and then we're gonna just make a little well. Now we just need to crack three eggs into the well. Now we're gonna add two tablespoons of good olive oil. You guys, the bolognese behind me smells so good. I cannot wait to pair it with this pasta. It's gonna be incredible. Now we're gonna add a good pinch of salt, about a half a teaspoon, just dump that in there too. I'm gonna take a fork and I'm gonna start whisking in the egg and olive oil mixture. You can see that it's starting to get kind of a thicker consistency and now is a good time to add our two tablespoons of water. And then just keep trying to mix it without it pouring off the sides. <laughs> It'll happen, it's fine. Now is a good time to switch from the fork to your bench scraper. Now ladies, just so you know, now might be a time to take off your fancy wedding rings if you have one because this mess is not coming out of that thing. Now that this dough is fairly well incorporated, this is perfect. Now we can start kneading it with our hands. Getting all of the flour incorporated. Just continuing to kind of pile it up, turning it and kneading it. I can tell that my dough is a little bit sticky, so I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle a tiny bit more of the semolina flour onto my flat surface. You wanna hold the base of it with this hand and then just grab it and with your heel, with the palm, push it out. And then you kind of roll it, turn it. It's coming together beautifully. This is what you want it to look like. If you push on it, it springs back. Spring back, if you can see that. And now we're just gonna wrap it in some plastic and put it in the fridge for 30 minutes and let it kind of finish doing its thing. Put it in the fridge. Okay, I've just taken the dough out of the fridge. It's been in there resting. I'm just gonna sprinkle, kind of dust this area. I'm gonna flatten this disc out a little bit. And the best thing to do is to cut it right now so you have smaller pieces to work with. Let's just stick with half and see where that goes. I'm gonna dust my rolling pin, pound the middle, and roll, press it out. You just wanna fold it, fold it again, turn it, and do it again. Bash in the middle. Dust a little more. Just keep turning it and rolling it. We want to almost be able to see our hand through it. It's pretty nice. Now that we have this nice rectangle shape, this is how you cut it by hand. Kind of fold it like this. Just some nice, even sawing motions. Just trying to not press the dough into each other. Look at these noodles. I'm just putting all of this pasta onto a little tray and then I'm gonna cover it until we're ready to boil it. <laughs> now we're gonna take this other half of the dough and we're gonna roll it out for a pasta roller. So same method as before, I've just kind of hand stretched it, now I'm just gonna... The beauty is we don't have to roll it as thin and we are using a pasta queen. So you always wanna start at one. Now I'm just gonna sprinkle some flour in here. <laughs> Insert the dough. It's a little tricky when you only have one hand. 
again, I'm just adding a little bit more flour. It's a little bit wet still. Okay, now I'm just gonna drop it down to setting number two. Now level three. So after about level three, it starts getting really long and like hard to work with by yourself. So I always cut the dough in half. So we can, oops, we can go ahead and move it to level four. It's definitely getting much thinner. It's really nice. This is probably gonna be our last level. We're on six. So this is exactly where we want it. And then we're gonna go ahead and put on the attachment. Never have enough flour when you're making pasta. Sticking is the devil. <laughs> Not today, Satan. <laughs> For linguine, we're gonna go in the larger one. It's amazing. The beautiful thing about this is it's super thin. We have a huge pot of water boiling here. I'm gonna add a huge amount of salt. Another pinch for good measure. Cause the, the salt water is what flavors the pasta. Just keep adding salt. This pasta here is the one that we did by hand. Now that our water is boiling, we're just gonna go ahead and start putting in the pasta. I just give it one more toss to make sure nothing's stuck together. Just gonna throw it all in here. It really doesn't take that long to cook. It's like maybe 90 seconds, maybe, maybe two minutes at the most. And the way that you can tell that it's done is it will just start floating up to the top. Just gonna check one. <laughs> it needs one more minute. You can see now though that these are all starting to float. This is exactly what we're looking for. Uh, I don't know, maybe another 30 seconds. <laughs> this is awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and just take it out and put it in this bowl. Now I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil on it. The pasta that we did in the machine, I'm just gonna go in with that, just kind of sprinkle it in like we did before. This pasta right here is just absolutely beautiful. It would go so well with any traditional pasta sauce, pesto, marinara. <sighs> Test it again. Does it taste done? Mm. It's like salty from the water. Oh my gosh, you guys, this. Then we just add a little bit of this gorgeous bolognese. Oh my gosh, you guys, it smells incredible. What absolutely has to be done, and that's cover it with a ton of farm. And then just a little bit of fresh basil. And here you have it, guys. Two versions of incredible homemade pasta with our awesome bolognese that Ryan made in our last video. This is gonna knock your socks off. It's super fun to make, it's easy, it's fairly fast, flavor is unbeatable. It's amazing. Get in here, let's eat this. I'm so hungry. We've been waiting all night to eat. So Ryan's trying the super thick hand yeah. cut dough and I'm gonna try the awesome one that we did with the machine. Everything just kind of like melts in your mouth. Like the pasta just, you barely even have to chew it. It's so paper thin. Ooh. It's amazing. Don't be afraid of pasta. Just make it yourself. Your aces, it's great. We hope you guys enjoyed this two part series. Watch both of the videos, they go hand in hand. It's hand in hand. I think it's gonna be good. <laughs> you guys are gonna love it. I can't wait for you to try it. Eat some pasta. We'll see you guys next time cooking with two chefs. Woo! Peace. Mm. Mm, mm, mm.